Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning. I'm Lord Hustle, and this is Insomnia, a retro futuristic RPG. Now, I've already done the intro bit, skipped the tutorial, and we have a broken repair part we can disassemble. Now, I'm not sure yet why I am doing this kind of thing. Uh, I know we can do that, and I've got a shitload of small batteries. And now I've got some circuitry. Um, yeah, I'm just jumping right in here, but this is the inventory. And I've got a shitload of stuff in here. I have no idea why. I, I took the smiling cat, and probably has no value. But I took it. It's a little stuffed animal that's broken. And um, I got um, uh, let's see if I can find where my quest log is. Uh, let's see, quest window is you. And um, let me show you just this is right now the demo. And these are my audio options none. And my controls are just basically. And uh, an explanation of what stuff does. There, uh, there's no mouse control, and no sensitivity whatsoever. Uh, the only thing that seems to be really complete is the video, uh, but it's still a demo. It's uh, not yet complete. I can scavenge junk. I know I can build stuff and take stuff apart and we have some leather I've got a shitload of stuff already I'm not sure if I can build anything or not and where I can build it uh, oh, I don't need it's, I can open it but it's uh, empty uh, so it's a retro futuristic uh, RPG Just like the good old times, I suppose. and oh yeah mission lock Whoa. Okay, the package. Uh, what is this then? Is this cancelled? This is accept, right? This information. Okay, uh, broker asked me to find Hester. Hester is gonna hand me the package and he'll tell me what to do next. The old smuggler is waiting for me in the central part of the reservation right next to Rainbow 106. Right, and then we have. I need money to pay off my debt to Baykera, and I need a fast broker said he had to get a job for me. I'm guessing these two then are related, and this was the first part. And then I get some money by doing this. Uh, Rainbow 106. Um, pretty sure it's not here. Uh, let's see, can I do anything with the robot? I can do something with the toolbox, which is empty. There's a ladder here. Can I go up that ladder? Uh, apparently not. Oh, stealth. You are now on hostile ground. Try to uh, try to avoid getting noticed by the military patrol and the security bots. To sneak past something, use stealth mode. Okay, crowd C. Avoid, avoid pointing your gun at neutral characters or else even a sidelong glance can lead to bloodshed. Okay, can lead to bloodshed. Uh, yeah. Okay, so those things are bad. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be here. And uh, yes, I can shoot that and more junk. A bottle of water, that's nice. 
So I got two bottles of water and eight millimeter ammo. I do have a gun which uses the 7.8 millimeter, but many years of gaming has taught me never to turn down ammo. Uh, Rafa, chatbot. Uh, you see. A young, strong looking laborer with inescapable gloom written above his face. Hey, what are you doing here? Cross all over the place at this hour. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Uh, I'm looking for the generator room. I don't know what it generates, mind you, but I need to get there. Uh, okay, it's not fair, but you it's not far, but you won't get there. Because of other than birdies, if you know what I mean. Maybe you can turn them off for a while. Are you nuts? The cameras everywhere. You know what happened if I uh, do that? Well. But I'd like to be fair. I'll teach you how to turn them off for a bottle. If you, uh, okay, I wouldn't mind a bottle either. Well, anyway, I'm broke. Okay, so I have to what? Get boost for him? Oh, really? Then what's that jingling in your back, eh? Ah, fine, everyone knows I'm an incredibly generous guy. You owe me one, though. See that bot over there? Well, I see multiple bots over there, but I think it's the one that's moving. Uh, it's not that hard to gain access to its controls if you have got a special handy little gadget, of course. I'll give you one. It's been decommissioned. You have a hard time in the tunnels without it. No, no, don't thank me. Oh, that was unexpected. Thanks, buddy. So I've got a bot hacking to a e cracker seventy. Uh, do you want to turn a security bot into a remote control car? It's easy with the p cracker seventy. Several simple steps will turn a deadly machine into a toy that obeys your orders. Or a pile of scrap. p Cracker 70 is good for hacking security bots and turrets. Alright. Uh, it's not automatically equipped. No, it's here. Okay, so I've, I, it's that thing or my toolkit. And I okay. so I have to unequip something and then equip something before I can use that. Uh, that's not the most optimal thing. And how to use that then? E? No. E. Okay, requires a lock pit pick. I don't have that. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Let's take the wrench. Let's take everything so far. Repair bot. Does he mean? Does he mean that bot? Ah, that bot. Okay, choose your actions. Uh, Requires items, but I'm not sure what items, though. Oh shit. Oh uh, crap, this is my first combat situation. Uh, nope. 
can't do anything with that uh, bot. Okay, if you have an electronic system hacking device, you can try to hack the bot and turret and get valuable information from passport protected computers in front of you. Uh, in front of you is an active security bot. Okay, I'd already tried to hack that. Uh, okay, equip press 3 on the keyboard. I already did that. Select the defender. If you, are if you are successful in reprogramming the bot, it will, be, it will become your ally and will attack your enemies. If you're successful, shut it off. It will suffer considerable damage and it will become much easier to defeat. Uh, the success, success or failure of hacking depends on the complexity of the electronic security system of the target. Kind of tool you're using and the character skill. Be aware that you only have one attempt, of course. And I no longer seem to be able to look around. And that's weird. I used to be able to look around, but now I can't anymore. And now I have to use my middle mouse button. Ah, there is something here. Can we? Did something change? Because now it's a point and click situation. The controls changed after the battle. Um, oh, there's a box. Look, now I don't see the... Here I... If I am in look mode... Did I accidentally change that? Uh, H is like very temporary. Oh, it's a safe. Uh, y is a wait. <laughs> I cannot cancel this. <laughs> Uh, let's load the game. This is still in development, it's only uh, a demo after all. Holy shit, seriously? That's gonna be annoying. It, it, it like takes up half the screen. Uh, confirm. Escape. Enter. I. Uh, T is pause. U is wait. Uh, y is wait. Is Y wait? Yeah, Y is wait. Y, don't, well. All right, I'm just gonna uh, exit the game. Well, this is what I got when I reloaded. So that's not uh, that's not good. I know this is still in development, but come on, what the fuck is this? There is absolutely no character. There's nothing loading. Uh, let's load this one it, double clicking doesn't work either and i'm a sucker for simplicity absolutely necessary but yeah this is not going as planned you know what i'm gonna exit the entire game let's keep our fingers crossed and see if that this loads oh
Uh, look at that! Uh, let's just take everything. Well, this is a memory block. What does the memory block do? It doesn't do much, but it's. It seems that the content of these cases. They do seem to differ and they are dynamically generated. Look at that. I got a. Uh, got old boots. I don't think I need old boots, do I? I'm not gonna take. Uh, simple weapon parts. I already have some. So. Uh, let's take that and an old can. Uh, I'm gonna start being picky. I'm still gonna take this as long as I can carry it, which I think I can. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna. Well then, just like the good old times, I suppose. I should probably be making less noise. Considering I don't want to draw any extra attention to myself. Yeah, I'm probably going to get the pop-up again. Or maybe not, because I'm already sneaking. That's a guard. Yeah. I am sneaking. Now I have to talk with Bozo here and get that little stealth weapon thing. Uh, let's see, unequip. This is going to be an issue when this is full. As you have to first uh, unequip and then equip. So if you're full here then that will cause an issue. Unless there is a way you can switch them out, but uh, I'm not sure. There's a rusty container which has some spoiled hamburger, no thank you. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna damage the thing. It has more, a high success rate. So let's see if that will... Nice, two shots killed it. Yeah, I just did it, mate. Uh, requires repair. And now I can actually... Uh, that was different the last time. I couldn't do anything with the robot. Uh, let's see if we can... We can actually switch now. So again, there was probably a bug. And this is what the... Raylem 300, no idea is that the suit or the backpack or there's not really a backpack is there uh, let's dis disassemble that thing and look at that, we get quite a bit of parts can't do anything with that repair robot. That seems to be all in pretty important, so let's take that. Oh shit. Ah! What was quick save again? E? Okay, let's pause. H. Yeah. This is gonna be annoying if I have to keep doing this from here now we have to sneak closer it's right inside that's not a very good security bot is it 
Dude, what the fuck? What the f- Stop f fucking crouching, you fucking idiot. Okay, uh, not sure if it was me or the game, but I tend to blame the game. <laughs> it's easier. Okay, let's again get the parts. Okay, got circuit. Yeah. It almost... Uh, headphones. Oh, I took the headphones. Uh, Aphex headphones, a radar, deceitful instrument, manual, promises an incredible smooth amplitude frequency characteristics. Uh, can I like? On equip. What the f fuck? <laughs> Did I just die from taking off my headphones? It's back. Uh, I cannot get out of my... Uh, all right, let's put this thing. Can't put it back. Uh, I c unequipped. Now it's equipped again. Something that should not have an inventory screen, right? Theoretically. Okay, I've got my headset back on. And I don't have the headset. There is no headset anymore. Let me just say like this. Okay, okay, I will replay the demo or an early access version. See if it is improved. But if the gameplay is at this level for the finished product then no matter how rich the world is no matter how well thought out the lore is um, no matter how good it looks it may be freaking beauty on all those points but if the gameplay is like this crappy and buggy and shitty and basically a turd I would recommend to stay the fuck away from it if it, if they improve the gameplay I'm pretty sure they have gold on their hands with this game and that they will have a pretty loyal fan base but they have to get that right and this demo, in all honesty, it is a piece of shit. <laughs>